Tantian. Are you ready to explore this amazing temple? The house of the old gods, then let's get started right away. The Pantheon is located in Rome, the capital of the Roman Empire, and it attracts thousands of visitors every year. However, the Pantheon is not just a temple, it is also a marvel of engineering and architecture. Construction of the Pantheon began in 27 to 25 AD. During the reign of Augustus Sang was later completed by Emperor Hadrian between 118 to 128 AD. This is a historical detail that makes the structure even more impressive. One of the most impressive features of the Pantheon is its colossal dome. The dome is one of the largest freestanding domes built during the Roman Empire and remains the only one still standing today. When you enter the Pantheon, you are greeted with a mesmerizing atmosphere. After a grand exterior, a vast interior space opens up, adorned with a dazzling dome. At the top of this dome, there is an opening called the oculus. The oculus provides natural light to the temple, creating an incredible experience. During the time of its construction, the Pantheon was dedicated to many gods in accordance with the beliefs of the Roman people. That's why its name, Pantheon, means all the gods in ancient Greek. Over the centuries, the Pantheon has undergone many changes. Originally serving as a temple, it was later converted into a church. This transformation has further elevated the significance of the Pantheon and the Laudits. Preservation until today. The Pantheon is just one of the mesmerizing legacies of ancient Rome. Its unique beauty and perfection have captivated people for centuries. Well, I hope this brief tour of the Pantheon has provided you with some insights about this historical structure. If you ever find yourself in Rome, don't forget to visit the Pantheon. An unforgettable experience awaits you. Vatican City Here are some interesting facts you need to know about Vatican City, first and foremost. Vatican is the headquarters of the Catholic Church and the residence of the Pope. This tiny city-state, with an area of only 40 for hectares, was established in 1929 through the Lateran Treaty with Italy. Vatican City is famous for its museums, the Vatican Museum's house unique collections gathered over thousands of years. These museums showcase ancient sculptures, artworks, archaeological remains, and many valuable pieces such as Michelangelo's renowned frescoes in the Sistine Chapel. The symbol of Vatican City, St. Peter's Basilica, is the largest Christian church in the world. With its incredible architecture and magnificent interior decor, this captivating structure welcomes millions of visitors every year. Moreover, it is one of the venues where the Pope conducts religious ceremonies. Another beauty to explore in Vatican City is the Vatican Gardens. This vast area offers a peaceful environment with its greenery, sculptures, and stunning landscapes. As you wander through the gardens, history and nature intertwine, providing visitors with a unique experience Lastly, official events attended by the Pope attract the attention of many tourists in Vatican City. Moments when the Pope greets crowds in the central square or during beatification ceremonies are filled with great enthusiasm and emotion. Despite being a small country, Vatican City holds a significant cultural and religious heritage. It is a place that should be visited by anyone interested in history, art, and religious beliefs. Stepping into the depths of Vatican City offers an unforgettable experience. The information we provided in this short tour of Vatican City is just the beginning. We hope this video encourages you to immerse yourself in the charm of Vatican City and inspires you to explore it firsthand. Trevi Fountain Trevi Fountain is a magnificent Baroque masterpiece. Located in the heart of Rome, its grandeur and beauty will enchant you. The fountain was constructed by Rome's most talented architects, 
in the 18th century as one of the most splendid examples of the Baroque style. It reflects the aesthetic understanding of that era. At its center, the statue of the sea god Neptune rises, surrounded by splendid decorations, reliefs, and columns. However, Trevi Fountain is not just a structure. It is also known as a wishing fountain, according to legend. If you throw a coin into the fountain and make a wish, it will come true. This tradition attracts thousands of visitors each year. The crystal clear turquoise color of the water creates a magical atmosphere, glistening in the sunlight. The beauty and historical significance of the fountain mesmerize visitors and provide them with unforgettable memories of Rome. Trevi Fountain has also served as a backdrop for numerous famous films. The iconic scene from La Dolce Vita shot at Trevi Fountain remains etched in our memories. It is truly a captivating spot for cinema enthusiasts. As one of Rome's most popular tourist destinations, Trevi Fountain welcomes millions of visitors every year. Its historical importance, breathtaking beauty, and mystical ambience leave visitors in awe. Visiting Rome and experiencing Trevi Fountain is an enchanting journey where you can immerse yourself in history and make your wishes come true. Colosseum This unique structure has become a symbol of the grandeur and power of the Roman Empire. Take two minutes and join me on an exhilarating journey to learn more about this remarkable masterpiece. The Colosseum is an amphitheater located in Rome. Built between 70 to 80 AD, this colossal structure is the largest amphitheater in the ancient world. Capable of accommodating approximately 50,000 people, it is not only impressive in size, but also mesmerizing in its architecture and intricate details. The purpose of constructing the Colosseum was to showcase the might of the Roman Empire and entertain the public. Gladiatorial fights, animal hunts, and other extravagant events were just a few of the spectacles held in this arena. Emperors utilized the Colosseum to symbolize their power and wealth in the eyes of the people. Hence, the Colosseum was not merely an entertainment center, but also a symbolic representation of the Roman Empire. Its architecture is an incredible engineering feat. The rectangular structure presents an awe-inspiring view from the outside, while the interior is adorned with layered seating arrangements. These seating tiers were designed to ensure comfortable viewing for the spectators. The arches and columns surrounding the Colosseum and grace and magnificence, creating a captivating spectacle. Despite experiencing damages over time, the Colosseum still stands strong. Wars, earthquakes, and pillaging have taken their toll on the structure. However, the Colosseum continues to stand as a testament to the grandeur of the ancient world. It is one of the greatest legacies in world history, enchanting thousands of visitors to this day. In conclusion, the Colosseum is a symbol of the magnificence and power of ancient Rome. With its breathtaking architecture and historical significance, it ranks among the most impressive structures in the world. The preservation and survival of the Colosseum highlight our commitment to the history of humanity and the importance of our cultural heritage. If you ever get the chance, I highly recommend visiting this unique structure. The Colosseum is not just a structure made of stones. It is also a storyteller of captivating tales. Piazza Navona Today, we would like to take you to Piazza Navona, one of the most enchanting squares in the heart of Rome, Italy. This magnificent square offers a breathtaking combination of history and art. At first glance, Piazza Navona dazzles your eyes with its majestic architecture. It is one of the oldest squares in Rome, dating back to the 15th century. Built on the remains of the ancient Roman stadium of Domitian, the square follows the contours of the original elliptical stadium. One of the most impressive features of Piazza Navona is its fountains and sculptures. Bearing the signatures of renowned artists like Bernini and Borromini, the three grand fountains found in this square 
are some of the greatest masterpieces of the Baroque period, particularly the Fountain of the Four Rivers is a true testament to Bernini's craftsmanship and artistic genius. The vibrant atmosphere of Piazza Novona is also filled with cafes and restaurants that attract locals and visitors alike, sitting down for a coffee. You'll be intoxicated by the energy of artists, street performers, and musicians surrounding you. The liveliness and colorfulness of the square will help you capture the spirit of Rome. The historical and cultural significance of Piazza Navona makes it an unforgettable destination. It is a must-visit for anyone traveling to Rome. Even a minute spent here will leave a lasting memory in your heart. This short journey to witness the magic of Piazza Navona. My friends, I hope it has stirred up your excitement. This magnificent square in Rome is a perfect blend of history, art, and vibrancy. Waste no more time and embark on a trip to Piazza Navona for an unforgettable experience until we meet again. Spanish Steps The Spanish Steps are truly a work of art. Named after the Spanish Embassy, these stairs captivate everyone with their architectural elegance. With a total of 135 steps, these stairs stretch all the way to Piazza di Spagna, one of Rome's largest squares. However, the Spanish steps are not just a staircase. It is a meeting point that holds the pulse of Rome's social life. It's a square where tourists, locals, and art enthusiasts come together, experiencing delightful moments. Sitting here, admiring the surrounding beauty, buying colorful flowers from the flower vendors, and enjoying the atmosphere of the square are fantastic opportunities. One of the most remarkable features of this enchanting place is the Trinita dei Monti Church. This magnificent structure rises at the top of the steps, perfectly framing the view of the area. From the bell tower of the church, you can marvel at the breathtaking panorama of the city and immerse yourself in the vibrant crowd of Piazza di Spagna. If you visit the Spanish steps, don't leave without stopping by Via Condotti, located nearby. This street is home to the boutiques and luxury shops of the world's most famous fashion brands. You can indulge in shopping, take a break at stylish cafes, and savor the true Italian ambience that permeates this area. The Spanish steps are not just a series of stairs. They are a symbol reflecting Rome's vibrant culture and history. So. Remember to bring your cameras when you visit, as you will want to capture and share these beauties with your loved ones. I hope that this short but enthusiastic tour has conveyed the enchanting atmosphere of the Spanish steps to you. If you ever find yourself in Rome, be sure to visit this place. Roman Forum The Roman Forum was the heart of the Roman Empire and one of the centers of history. This ancient square served as the center for political, commercial, and religious activities. During the imperial period, government buildings, temples, markets, and monuments were located in this area. However, not all of the Roman Forum remain standing today. Over the centuries, earthquakes, wars, and looting have destroyed many of these ancient structures. Among the remaining ones are triumphal arches, like the Arch of Titus and the Arch of Septimius Severus, the Senate House, and the House of the Vestal Virgins. I know a minute is a short time, but as you stroll through the Forum, you can still feel the ambience of ancient Rome. Walking among the stones, you'll feel like you're tracing the footsteps of the Roman Empire's past, imagine hidden stories behind the columns that surround you. Mysterious events have also occurred in the history of the Forum. It is rumored that after Julius Caesar's assassination, the Roman Forum was haunted by his ghostly presence. Some people claim to have seen the spirit of Caesar wandering here at night. While this story may not be true, other events in the Forum's history are truly mind-boggling. There are many more secrets and stories to discover in the Roman Forum but our mysterious journey comes to an end. I hope this short video has brought you one step closer to the mystical world of ancient Rome.